How you going, Pisces? We've got a quick daily read for you today. We're going to um, start um, shuffling the cards up, and then I'm going to pull them out. Pull them off so that way they can start in, and that way we can start straight up for you. I hope you're happy and healthy. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate, but if it does, that's magnificent. Not every reading's for everybody, that's for sure. Uh, we are going to get started straight away. Well, somebody knows their worth, okay? And there's divine judgment around that, okay? Because you know your worth, okay? You may have come through a lot of sadness in your life, okay? And put boundaries in place, yeah? Because you can see that thoroughly there. Two cameras to work with. Boundaries in itself, yeah? If somebody doesn't like that, you can see that. But there's judgment there for that in itself. So it shows that your worth, your value is um, being seen in this universe. And that's beautiful as you step towards your boundaries and, and put those things in place in order to know your worth. And that's perfect. Yeah, you had a lot of people playing on that mind, okay, because the thoughts are rappling around their head. You're at a stalemate in your life or you're at a, at a crossroads, I suppose. There was balance needed in some sort of way, okay, because the two to the two shows planning, okay, but that, that shows enthusiasm, okay, enthusiasm and infectious energy. So beat to your drum and it's enthusiasm. There's a lot of uh, wands energy there, three three wands in a row, so it shows um, passion, enthusiasm and stuff like that. So especially with two, two, that, and, and two, zero, two, 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 so it shows that may be a number, but... It also shows divine judgment's been laid in itself, okay? So it's, you may have a Ten of Cups situation coming in and it may have been juggling you in some sort of way, um, but it's definitely coming in, okay? It's going to be your joy. It's going to be happiness. That's why Spirit said be enthusiastic about it because you work very, very, very hard on yourself as a soul. And that's perfect, especially with the Ten of Cups there is this completion. Yeah, there's justice, okay? There's justice coming in some sort of way for some situation. It doesn't necessarily be a bad thing or a good thing. It just means um, judgment's been laid upon situations in your life, okay? There's um, happiness that's coming because you've been through sad times in your life, sad times around family and friends and stuff like that. But it does show that, um, you know, it only made you stronger in life. And that's the best part about life is, is when we learn the lessons and trials and tribulations in life. They, yeah, they lead us to releasing baggage and, and that, showing the mountain that we come through. See the mountain that's come through? See all the lights? As it comes through, it shows that uh, you've come through a mountain, okay? So whatever mountain was there in your life, justice has been laid on that, and joy will be coming in some sort of way, okay? Enthusiasm, and that's for sure. Under the deck there, we've got people that may not like it, okay? But they may not like your happiness and your positivity as you ended it out, but you walk on in your life, and, and um, you wish the best for people, and that's the best you can do. Uh, release any burdens at the present moment, especially if you're thinking about justice at the present moment. There are two faces to justice, uh, which shows the two sides to justice, okay, especially when it comes to karmic law. But you can see that justice is looking down at that um, happiness and positivity, okay. There's friends and stuff coming in, okay, and you're stepping in that right direction in order to have it. And that's the truth. So you need to release and let go because I've got release of baggage here and then I've got the sacrifice of that hangman who needs to release and let go, okay. We can see you're, um, you are the abundance and the best way to see it shows it on this card. See how there's a pentacle in the background there? And there's the pentacle there. So it shows that you're the abundance there in itself, okay? You sit on a solid foundation. Think logically with your head over your heart at the present moment, and that's beautiful. Release any baggage, release any burdens. It's a final push in any moment at the present moment because your enthusiasm is, is infectious, I suppose the best way to say. It came out before, and it shows that you've worked very, very, very hard on yourself as a soul. In case the spirit says for the underlining energies of the top row is to protect that energy at the present moment. Um, you're courageous at the moment and that's beautiful. So to continue on that joy and happiness and positivity in your life as you step forward, knowing your boundaries and, and knowing your worth. Divine judgment's been called on any family situation. It did come out before around, um, yeah, divine justice has been called on any situation um, that's uh, there. And it's the center of the whole reading at the present moment. So be happy and joyful at the present moment. Um, release any baggage. Move on and um, you're nobody's sacrifice, okay? You've worked very, very, very hard on who you are as a soul um, because the same cards have just come straight out in a row, which is the Queen of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. I'm talking to a working parent. I'm talking to somebody who is a spiritual healer. I'm talking to somebody who is gifted, <laughs> spiritual healer, okay? And you have hope, okay? And that's the best way to say it, hope. It leads you to your Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups with those two cards there, of the star, which is the universal wish, okay? And the Nine of Cups is getting that wish. So it shows that the wish will come in. So you just need to continue being the abundance you are and step off on your journey, especially when it comes to planning and thinking at the present moment because you are on the journey at the present moment. Um, we got the two, same two cards that have come out in a row here in the over energies as opposed to the under energies, which is this one here. So it may have been juggled, okay, because we got two, two, two as well, and plus another two here. So it does put emphasis because there's the same card there as the same card here. So it shows that things had to balance, balance out the scales, I suppose, because there's the scales and there's the scales as well uh, in order for you to plan and step on on your life. You were the cup of grail. Um, you were being juggled at times, but there are ships coming in the background, and we can see that there. You've got joy coming in as you step towards it because that's the two to the three of wands. Two 
is the planning. Three is the stepping off and actioning on that plan as you will step towards your life. Um, you are abundance. See, because the queen to the uh, to queen of pentacles to the queen of cups, queen of cups to the queen of pentacles. So it shows you mirroring out to the universe the reflection that you need to put out in the background. There, there's a lot of emotion there in itself. So it shows um, that you're a beautiful soul and you deserve beautiful things in your life. Yeah, you put an action towards it. Okay, yeah, put an action towards healing at the present moment. Okay, your logics and your morals are beautiful at the present moment, which is great. Okay, spirit's pulling you in some sort of direction in order to have that, and you can see that here, spirit's pulling you in that direction to have that happiness and positivity. You put action into a time of life where you needed to heal. Like I said before, up here, where you're releasing these burdens from anybody that's caused this um, stalemate in your life, where you learnt your learnt your value of who you are. But there's the four of swords, so it shows where. People were hurting you and, and you've put the uh, sort of truth, the sort of clarity, that sort of justice in play. Divine judgment has been called. As soon as I come anywhere near that justice, the judgment comes out. So it shows divine judgment has been called for any spoiled brats um, who may be watching you grow at the present moment. Okay, and release the burden. So Spirit says it's time, a, a time to pause and reflect and see how far you come. It's like a fi final pause because that, at that card that just came out would have been the next card here, which is the same card, but it shows release any burdens. Um, Divine judgment, as you can see, the trumpet's been blown as that tree comes down into this. It's divine judgment's been called on any uh, any rejection, any regret, anybody that's a spoiled brat who can't really see the uh, the blessing that they had in their life. Spirit saying, protect your energy. You've come through a mountain at the present moment. You need, you need to be excited. Okay, there's your card there in itself. Double emphasis on your card in itself, and you can see that you're hermiting and reflecting at the present moment as you come through that finish line to celebrate. But it tells you that you finished all that stuff, so you're able to celebrate. Okay, because we've got two cards of release. And we've got two cards of you being the abundance, okay? The happiness and the positivity. You've worked very, very hard on yourself with a lot of moons up there. And Spirit says protect that energy of the over-under energies and under-energies of the top and bottom readings. Yeah, you've come through sadness, man. Yeah, that's why Spirit's asking you to release it and let it go. Uh, and justice is called for any sadness that's called, being caused on your life from... Um, see, with those two cards there, the sadness and justice, and then this card comes out and it shows that... Um, like uh, you're protecting that heart, I suppose, but it's somebody jealous, somebody who is moody, sulking, uh, like a player, but somebody who is emotionally blocking your progress in life, okay, yeah, by ostracizing, leaving yourself out in the cold, they were leaving you out, okay, because I've got the five to the five there, which shows change, so you put change to that in order to grow, in order to work on yourself as a soul, and that's beautiful, you've got options coming at the present moment, and that's beautiful, and no matter what I did, it's coming back out, okay, it was faded for them, because the middle row is faded for them to have left you out in the cold, because you ended up coming true to yourself the best way to say it because the seven to the seven shows options and growth but it also shows the growth as it's coming from that mindset of being homeless left out in the cold the obstacles they put in your life were there for a reason and we can see with divine judgment divine judgment and justice coming in multiple times multiple ways no matter which way i look at it you're healing from that you're being divine, divinely guided away from that especially from the two to the two to the two to the two so it shows a lot of twos there that may be a number for you at the present moment because you're on a journey in life Okay, but just understand that it was fated to happen, okay? The middle row shows, uh, for the underlying energies of the middle row, it shows it was fated to happen, okay? So the present moment, release any sadness, just as is coming for those situations where they've left you out in the cold and put all those situations in your play, but at the end of the day, it's the way it works. Yeah, you're a manifesto, you're a master manifesto, okay? I've got the munition to the um, spiritual connection in itself, so it shows that by knowing your worth, you're able to step off in the right direction, okay? Because here's the right direction here as we come across from this judgment you, with the same card here as over here in order to step towards that joy in itself. Yeah, they ostracize you, they left you out. They're, they're her thinking about that at the present moment, but um, justice has been laid. Judgment will always come around in the right way, especially for a true heart. Yeah, there's inspiration there in itself, okay? There's inspiration, okay, for an Empress energy, okay? The sadness that they caused on this Empress energy was disgusting in itself, okay? And it caused you to break your heart with the Three of Swords there and stab you completely in the back. But we can see that it's um, come to an end, okay? Because that's why Spirit wants you to release that baggage up here. You put action into yourself by putting those boundaries in, so, so that way the Three of Swords can never come back around again because that action is boundaries in itself, but you're stepping off in that right direction towards uh, Ten of Cups, and that's beautiful because you're healing at the present moment because I've got a four to a four, two, 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 four, four. It shows uh, patience and perseverance, but they also lead up to love, healing, and friendships. 
Yeah, you're strong. You're so strong at the present moment with your healing and you're courageous at the present moment. I can see that you're protecting that energy at the present moment and that's beautiful, okay, because you're coming into who you are as a soul. You're free at the present moment and I don't think they like that, okay, because it's come to the same card here as the same card here, same card over and over again, okay? You can see in these cards that the rejection is getting to them at the same time, but you're on a pursuit in something, yeah, to release the burdens at the present moment. You don't need this stuff playing on your mind, let alone anything. Spirit does say protect yourself thoroughly, though. Um, whatever that means to you is what it means to you. But we can see divine judgment has definitely been laid on this situation across multiple cards. You have hope in your life, okay? They don't like it, okay? Because you've got morals in place, okay? You're walking towards the Ten of Pentacles in itself and there's uh, a beautiful emotionally intuitive sign here. So she's come out three times across three different decks. And it shows that you're leveling up in some sort of way and, and they don't like it. They don't like your morals and integrity. But at the end of the day, that's what the universe is built on. Put good stuff out to the universe and good stuff will always come back to you. And that's the way it works in the life. You have good communication coming in in some sort of way. Okay, um, because you're divinely led in life. Spirit says, keep going. Okay, you're divinely led in life. That heart is beautiful. Okay, and it shows it there because you beat to your own drum. We're up to this justice here of the sadness. Okay, that's been released at the present moment in order for you to understand you're the abundance. Okay, and there's spirit right there with justice coming in with that spirit energy there as you walk on on your journey. And it shows that there. You put an ending to something with that death card there in order to release because the same card up here has come out again. You're releasing this ostracizing, you're releasing these bad things that have happened in your life and that's beautiful in order to step on your journey. We only have a certain amount of time in our planet and we all have missions to get on with. So let's get on with that mission. In itself, last two cards. Okay, you work very, very hard, okay? Because it's the same card here, it's the same card here. So you can see as they're coming through the energies in itself in order to complete that out and come full circle in itself. And you're very, very enthusiastic and that whole row is very enthusiastic. It shows... um that you're a beautiful soul, okay? So at the end of the day, whatever's happened to you happened for a specific reason. So you could know your worth as you walk on your journey, okay? Justice is coming, so release any fears, double emphasis on release, okay? You've worked very, very hard on yourself, okay? Divine judgment has been called on that in order for self-realization and, and understanding of who you are as a soul in order to be redeemed in the eyes of the Lord, if that makes sense, as you step forward. We have uh, the two to the three of ones which shows your planning in order to step forward, in order to work towards your joy. And what joy is gonna come in is the same card here as that enthusiasm okay because you are the abundance it's as simple as that okay and you do grow in your mind continuously with double emphasis on both of those cards as we come back down here continue to grow with action and put boundaries in place massive boundaries so they don't come back to hurt you again but like spirit says protect your energy do what you've got to do boo in order to protect that divine judgment has been called on any spoiled brat that's um, stepped in your way and tried to cause conflict in your life so there's double emphasis on that around the spoiled brat here is the seven of ones to the seven of ones has protecting that energy okay especially with um, those cups that have been off in themselves there was sadness there in itself okay because you thought there was a lot of options there in itself but justice has come they left you out in the cold okay because you're divinely led as an underlining energies you're a ma major manifester and you step continue stepping towards your joy and that's beautiful uh and the enthusiasm was absolutely beautiful here with the definitely definitely inspiration divine inspiration as you level up to that beautiful empress energy of unconditional love with strength in your heart because of what you've been through and you're free now in order to be yourself you have hope at the present moment so there's no point looking backwards when you should be walking forwards your morals are in beautiful in integrity if anybody comes in with any problems you cut them with that sword you cut them with your logic you cut them with your morals and you defend thoroughly because she will defend thoroughly she will cut you down big time there is good news coming in as you divinely led and it's divinely led good communication that's coming in in order to release that boundary so you can have that enthusiasm because the whole thing is centered around divine judgment here around a spoiled brat type of type somebody who rejected you it's the truth because we've got four to the four uh divine judgment has been laid because there's the judgment card with the divine card of the hierophant which is god in itself but it shows continue on on your journey okay whoever left you out in the card all it did was level you up and you put work to put the teamwork into yourself because we've got double emphasis on that in order to complete it out everything in this middle row has happened is fate okay everything that happened on the top row is so you can protect yourself and everything happened on the bottom is so you can have that enthusiasm into your life in order to lead towards your yeah ten of cups they don't like it because you're hard working any lovers okay but you've hermited and any friends and family have been completed out in order for you to have your morals and integrity yeah, release your burdens at the present moment because it's the same card there. It keeps coming out and there's a victory coming in as you go on your pursuit for le leaving these things out. You can see it's come full circle into itself. So Spirit says protect that energy at the present moment. There's Spirit straight under that card. Protect any within uh, any love, okay? There is love coming in some sort of way. It's going to level you up in some sort of way, but Spirit says it's time to pause and reflect on the cause, if that makes sense. And the divine angels are handling that as your temperance angels watching over you, keeping you safe while you learn in life. 
that's a beautiful reading Pisces, I want you to have a lovely, beautiful day. Just understand that divine judgment's been called thoroughly multiple times across this reading for anybody that's uh, left you out, ostracized you, put you down, teased, ill health, anything like that. Um, you shouldn't be wishing bad things upon people. If they were good people, they wouldn't be doing that. And that's the truth, okay? There is hope for you as you level up into yourself because there's you with hope in itself and communication coming as there's justice around the corner for the sadness in itself, okay? And that's going to level you up to the five to the five as you step off on that journey towards completing that out and having that full circle of being happiness and whole in yourself with all that moons there. And it's a moon over here plus a moon here. So it shows that you're divinely guided in life and you're being very, very protected at the present moment in order to level up as you step towards your unconditional love and to be free but just keep your morals in place be divinely guided step off on your journey and have a lovely beautiful day because you are divinely blessed and i just have a beautiful day i wish you all the best